Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. It's Gino here and today I want to give you a tutorial about login screens with Firebase. So basically this is the login screen I want to show you first before we start off with the programming and we can log, uh, log in or create a new account and this will be stored in Firebase. So let us log in first so we can type in whatever and oh no wait this is the the, the let, let's create a new account first so as you can see it is already giving us a error message saying that the email is already taken so it checks if the email is already taken or we can also check for any invalid emails so if we try to to forward it's gonna give us an error like this that the email address is badly formatted so let us try a, a valid email like this it is already taken and I accidentally okay now this should be fine and this should not work because the password must be six characters or more so which so we have both check marks here and let's create a new account and as you can see there's a view that is coming from the bottom and if we click on the profile here it can take us to the gallery which we can use to set whatever image you have on your phone like this and now we just put in our our name like so and now we click on send and it's gonna give us a nice loading animation and once it's finished we will have an account and a nice looking login screen so let's wait for it to stop as you can see the check mark is being here and it's dismissing itself and showing the home screen so this should be your home screen where you have like whatever you need for your app and that being said let's start doing the app okay so let's begin by creating a new a new project Uh, we can call it whatever login screen tutorial I'm gonna click next save it wherever you want and just a reminder we're, we're going to do it all without any um, with any storyboard so this is going to be pure Swift no own code only and for that we have to delete the main interface here and go to app delegate create our window equals UI window And it needs a frame of UI screen that main that bounce like this so and to make it all visible we need to make key invisible okay and we can delete the main storyboard right here we don't need it anymore since we since we don't use it and we're gonna rename our view controller to login login view controller the same here and now we're gonna specify or initialize our login view controller like so here 
let login vc and of course we also need a home view controller like it is being used in normal apps where we display whatever data we need so this is just a demo demo um, view controller it's not going to have anything inside of it so just being uh, it just has a red or whatever background you want it to be okay and first things first that I do for every project is that I create some groups to um, separate the functions and the logic of our app. So we're going to create a new group. We can call it supporting files. And we're going to put in the app delegate, the assets, and the launch screen in there. We're going to click on login view controller, right click, then new group from selection. That's going to create a new group from our selected files. I'm going to call it verification. And we're, we're going to do the same with the home view controller and call it the main. All right. And now we're going to create a new group. We can call it base. I'm going to explain later why we need it. And of course, we also need another one. I'm going to create it outside of our login screen tutorial. I'm going to call, call it core or util. Well, just call it core. That's enough. And right here, I will put in a new file. We can call it UI kit. And I'm just going to copy and paste my uh, code that I have in the UI kit. It basically is a file with a lot of extensions that makes auto layout very, very useful or has a lot of uh, useful methods. You can check it out. I have a video on the auto layout extensions that I have in there. So you, go, you can go check it out. I always use it for my projects. It's quite long because I, I, I put a, put in a lot of extensions, so you can take a look at it and see if you like it or not. All right. It seems like it doesn't like it. All right. Background color, not background. Okay. Now we need another one. We can call it UI color, and for the record, all this is how you usually do an app or how to uh, properly structure an app. So, you have a UI color here. This as well, I'm going to copy it from my other to from my either other projects. These are already pre made uh, colors, you can use whatever you want. So you don't have to use them, but I just chose the, the uh, these colors for the app. So there's that. I'm gonna create another file. I'm gonna call it uh, UI font, and as you can guess it. This is gonna have all the fonts in it that we need for our app, since I don't want to use the default fonts. So I can have that. You can choose a different font if you want. All right. So let's begin by setting our login view controller to the view to background color equals dot background. Right. And up here, we're also going to create the 
home VC because if you are logged in right you want to show the home view controller and not the login view controller and in case you're not logged in you want to show the login view controller and right now I want to show you how to do that okay mm. so right here we're gonna set the window.root view controller oh, you know what let's create the um, let's create the, the views first for the login VC before we do anything just want to show you how to do the layout and then we can go on do whatever stuff you want with the uh, login etc etc but first I want to show you that we have a, a function here called setup UI where we basically set up everything um, app app related uh, including colors etc etc so you can do that here that is being put for uh, globally on our app so we're gonna call it here setup UI and we're gonna have a Barton color in our navigation bar of color background which is in our UI color right here 